driving home from an event I had just ministered at, and um, I had three friends with me, um, and we were going home, and I'm taking everybody home, and it was a little quiet, so I was just like, you know, like, let me just get a conversation going, and I was like, yo, what is something that you absolutely love about God? Like, what is something that you absolutely love about God? Like, if it was like one thing you can name right now that just like the top thing that you love about God, what would it be? Um, and you know, everybody's going around from passenger seat to the back. And um, um, the first person just said, um, you know, I love the fact that, you know, God loves without conditions. Like, you know, no conditions apply. Um, and of course that blessed me. Um, that is something that I love about God. He literally loves you without conditions. You know, like we're so used to, oh, I love you until you do this or until you go there, until you say that. But now God really does love without condition and no conditions apply. He just loves and it. Sometimes I feel like we think we have to do something or be something, um, but no, God just loves. Um, and that's powerful. The second person said, um, I love the fact that he's always there, like, you know, and I was like, word, like God is always there. God is always present. Um, you, you know, that's something I think we all long for people just to be here, you know, be present, um, support when I need you, um, show up when I'm expecting you, what, whatever it is. It's just like literally like God is there um, and he always is there. He's never, ever left or forsaken us. He's never um, let us have a moment where we can say God's not with us and I believe that is it's powerful um, and I love that about God um, and the last person before me has said um, I love the fact that God always listens and that that of course blessed me because it's like I think that's another thing that we desire that we want you know what I'm saying like when people just listen like you know something the good quality about somebody we say oh they're a good listener right they're Oh, like they, they really, when, when you're talking to them, you can tell that they're listening to you. And I think that's, it's beautiful and it's profound. And to know that God listens to you, to know that nothing ever came out of your mouth that God did not hear, even if it is something you didn't want him to hear. Um, he's always listening. And I think that's powerful. The thing I had said was, you know, well, usually like my thing is, I love the fact that God can take you um, from your past state where, you know, we disrespect him or we you know, violate, um, and then we just kind of go against his will and go against him, period. Um, and then he cleans you up, um, he transforms your life, and then all of a sudden says, okay, you know, I'm not just gonna save you, but now I want you to come and do what I do. Um, he literally uses you. He says, now you're gonna be on my team. And it's like, me? Like, I'm the same guy who blatantly disrespected you, who went against your name. I'm the same guy who did these things, and now you see fit to use me to be a part of your grand scheme, to be a part of your plan. And I think that's powerful. But this moment, um, the one thing that came to me that I really just loved and it really has been blessing me just thinking about it, like God will always make you feel like priority. Like he will always make it, like it, it literally feels like once you pray, he's just, he's just like, I'm here, I'm listening and I'm ready to act. I'm ready to respond. And the thing that's so profound about that is he has a lot of kids. God literally has so many children, and yet the moment you pray, God will make it seem like he stops the world just for you. It literally feels like when you go to pray, God goes, okay, everybody stop. My son or my daughter is speaking to me. My son or my daughter is in trouble. My son or daughter is in need of me. And I think that's so profound that out of all the children God has, he literally makes you feel like you're his one. It makes you feel like, you know, it, it's about you right now in this moment. Even though it's not necessarily about us, God will make it in a way where it's like he's with you. And, and it, it's powerful because, again, he has a lot of kids, but yet he makes it seem like your priority in that moment. And I think that's powerful, and I love that about God. Um, and it just makes me think about, you know, the times where, you know, we do run off. And the Bible says that, you know, the shepherd will go after the one over the 99. Um, and something that I constantly remind myself is I was once God's one. I was the one and he had to go and get me um, over the 99 and to know that I'm such a priority to God that he would leave the 99 just for me um, when I'm lost or when I'm, you know, going through my own thing or I'm kind of distracted, or I'm getting caught up in my own ways to know that God's going to come after me. Um, I think that's powerful and it blesses me every time that I'm God's one.
And I say that because even when we think that we're not his one, we really are. And to know that at any moment that we become the one over the 99, he's gonna come chasing after us. It's powerful and it blesses me to know that I'm God's one. Out of all the kid God has, he makes you feel so special. Out of all the kids God, God has, he makes it seem like once you pray, everything shuts down. What do you need? I think that's powerful.